Welcome to Tone Deaf Music Talks with Emily, Anita, and Dippy. We hope you like this episode and subscribe to our channel. If audio is more your thing, we are available on Spotify as well. This week in K-pop, we've got way more than a week's worth of stuff to go over because we've been gone for almost a month. Since our last episode, we have traveled over 4,500 kilometers to the entire other side of the country, and we only just got internet hooked up now. So uh, we are going to be going over all of the big things we've missed over the past three weeks. Buckle up, get a snack. It feels like way longer than three weeks and not even close to three weeks it does. at the same time. Yeah, it feels like a couple days, but also like maybe a year. I agree. <laughs> Very good. First up, we're gonna we're gonna briefly dip back into the boiling pot of hot, stinky garbage that is the uh, Minhee Jin V Hive situation. That is a very good description. It is. Yeah, I just you. I just want it to stop. Mm-hmm. I just don't care anymore. Yeah, I, I don't so. care about a bunch of billionaires. Just push them all into a lava pit. Exactly. Uh, we get into that in this actually. Uh. Uh, the internet appears to become divided on who they believe is innocent in all of this. To which, again, we say neither party is innocent. Guillotine them both. Right? Yeah. It's a corporation and a CEO fighting over money and artists. That's it. As if the others involved aren't living, breathing, real human beings. Uh, a lot of people are leaning more towards the innocence of MHJ. They don't believe she's done wrong or is deserving of backlash. She was merely protecting the girls of New Jeans. Which, if you look into anything that is just simply not true. Uh, she was protecting her source of income. Neither party actually cares about the well-being of the group, and they've made that more than clear on more than one occasion. I feel like I feel like th- that we have to come to a point already where K-pop fans realize their companies don't care about your idols. Yep, they are piggy banks. Yes, that's it. They don't care if they're fainting on stage, if they're anorexic. They don't care. No, nope. so long as you get up, you do your little dance, you make mm-hmm. me money. I don't care what happens to you. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like we should have learned this from JYP. For real. Yes, for and real. SM and every other company. The thing that annoys me about this is it's new gene fans mm-hmm. who are all so mostly young. Yeah. And it's like, no, okay, all of us old SM fans, we have known her garbage. We've known she's trash yes. for the last 10 years. Yep. Get on the level. For real. Uh, speaking of new genes. They are under fire for what some fans are screaming is blatant plagiarism of an all-female group from Mexico by the name of Jeans, which if you look at the evidence that has been presented, they are very similar. However, Jeans wasn't the first one to use that concept and style, and they've also apparently been very open about their support of new Jeans on social media. I just find it funny, though, because also kind of also ripping off speed from Japan, Mm -hmm. also from that era. It's like... But eyelet sounded too similar. Yeah. Don't even fucking get me started on the eyelet shit. Okay? <laughs> She's ride or die for magnetic. I love it. I love eyelet. There, it's not... Learn what the word plagiarism is before you start screaming it into the abyss. Okay? It's always been a thing, though, of like, wait, that that's a sound that I know from this song. You plagiarize it. It's the same sample pack. Everyone paid four ninety nine. Yep. Yeah. Next up, uh, Stray Kids have been making quite the splash in the West with their recent appearance at the Met Gala taking over the internet. Now, instead of the immaculate dress and the undeniably incredible presence on the red carpet, or, you know, some of the members being thrown about by none other than Chris Hemsworth, being the reason behind the insane amount of attention that the group has been getting. I love then that he talked about it in right? the interview. Yeah. Like, I just picked him up. Yep. Like it was nothing. <laughs> Um, It is, however, unfortunately due to the way the group was treated by some of the photographers on the carpet, which apparently has resulted in one of them being completely doxxed, one of the photographers. They they put his whole life on the internet. Um, On top of the unprofessional and offensive way that they were greeted by the photographers, they've recently had a song release with Charlie Pluth. Pluth? (laughs) I will not. He does not get respect from me. Sorry. Charles... Uh, anyways, um, though most collabs from K-pop groups and Western artists are seen as something exciting and great, this one brings with it insane amounts of disappointment and anger. Fans refusing to stream the song because of the collaborator, and uh, Charlie P is known for harboring, you know, intense Zionist beliefs. And given the fact that there is an act of genocide taking place, most people aren't willing to fuck with that. Uh, now, stray kids are caught in the mix and getting hate from people who have zero interest in them or in K-pop because of it. Uh, our thing. 
as well as many others, is that they are not calling the shots for things like this. Um, they're under contract with their company, and the company makes literally all the decisions like this. At least that's what I've been reading and what, you know, we've all always known it yeah. to be. And if you look at Stray Kids' actions on their own, like the Coke incident, Coca-Cola incident, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, we know where they stand. Yeah. yeah. So And also, this is another thing of the companies. You are ruining a group's reputation yes. that has had a crystal clear reputation. Yes, they've done nothing. Since pre-debut. Yep. They have had one of the best reputations in K-pop, and you are ruining that. Yep. Because it's JYP, and that's all he knows how to do to boy groups. Yes. Yeah, is uh, yeah. destroy them. You ignore the girl groups, and you destroy your boy groups. Yep. And then you go, why don't I have money? Yeah. What happened all money gone? Why did my go? No, yep. Well, all his money probably went into the uh, offering at his church. Oh, uh, oh yes, to uh, preach worldwide. Yes. Uh, and also uh, to probably pay protection to his father-in-law, yeah. who's mm -hmm. apparently part of the mafia. Yeah. That's a story for another day. JYP is not a good person or a goofy uncle. He's a bad dude. Yeah. He's a bad man. He has done very bad things, and he continues to do bad things. But here we are. Yeah. Uh, in happier news, <laughs> and one of my favorites from this month, RM has new music. And in fact, his newest album came out today. Uh, his song, mm -hmm. Come Back to Me, came out a couple weeks ago, and it shook me to my core. It's raw emotion, and much like the music video, it's beautiful. His album, Right Place, Wrong Person, again, came out today uh, with the title track, Lost, which... He did tease on his Instagram at the time of writing this, and that too has since come out. Um, this for me is my most anticipated album this year, outside of metal. I've been looking forward to it because we all know that I have been an RM fan since the very beginning, and I love him. <laughs> uh, speaking of BTS, though, Jin is set to be released from his military service Within the next few weeks, everyone is excited for that. We sure are. Army needs some supervision because yeah. they've gone fucking wild in their absence. Yeah. As hope, you were saying. Yeah, I hope that um, the military strictness is going to make him bring the hammer down. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, uh, yep. it's so bad right now for everyone involved. It is time. Moving, moving right along. Okay, we've got some world tours coming up. Yeah. Uh, Stray Kids with a 40-city tour, which I guess was leaked during their red carpet with Ralph Lauren at the Met Gala. Leaked. We have 80s, The Boys, Purple Kiss, uh, x Nary Heroes, Lay, ONF. <laughs> a lot, a lot of tours. And actually, a few of those are coming to Canada. A lot to of... To cities near us. Yeah. Also, Lucy. They just, Lucy, they just finished yeah. their show in Toronto. Yep. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't mind going to all of them, including this one two times. <laughs> I wish. Yeah, that would be great. Um, I don't even think we would have a chance at getting tickets. I think because none of us have the ability or the attention span to sit there. No. Also, I, I, we could get one ticket for yeah. ATs. And then we'd have to rock, paper, scissors to see who was going. No, we just sit on each other's shoulders and put on a trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> I am a very tall man. Yep. Song reviews. Starting us off, we have 17 with Maestro. Uh, the video is great. Concept is great. Visually, everything is great. <laughs> the song is it's perfection. It's interesting. It's got layers. The vocals are fucking amazing. No notes. I love it. We're back to the chicken nuggets good and the yep. soda pop is good. Yeah. Soda pop is good. Uh, I thought it was very cool and uh, I, I loved the, the bust it down. Yeah. 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 Very good. Very the good. The bust it down was real good. There's it, a couple kind of different bust it downs yeah. in mm -hmm. that song. It's one of my absolute favorite 17 comebacks in their history. Yeah. Honestly. And the music video is incredible. It there's so it's one of the things that I I like about the li list of songs we have. There's so many different kinds of music yes. videos. This one is a spectacle of amazingness. Yeah. But then there's ones that are just really simple. Really simple. Yeah, there's a very, very good variety of yeah. uh, music that came out. This was a good, very ostentatious song. Yep. It was loud. Then we have Ive with Heya. I really like this one. Um, out of all of their releases, it's not my favorite. But I still really enjoyed it. The the When it's the drums and just the falsetto, it has such a pretty sound. And it's a, it's a really good song. And it's to me, it seemed a little bit different for them. 
just just slightly different from mm -hmm. you know most and it was really great and i loved it i that's fair they they will never make me hate ive yeah they everyone try as hard as you them. will you'll never make it happen the hate is so manufactured mm -hmm. it's I like the conspiracy theory that Wan Young just straight up killed three girls that were supposed to <laughs> yes. be in the group because they were prettier than her. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Mm -hmm. You're stupid. <laughs> None of their comebacks have ever been bad. And this song is incredible, just like every other song they've ever released. Yep. Their B sides are good. Their title tracks are incredible. Everything they do is great. Yeah. They're, everyone acts like they're the worst group on earth, which it doesn't make sense. They're so good. They're so talented. Yeah, because I don't, like, I guess because we're in Canada, yeah. so it's a little bit different, the stuff that we see, but I don't, like, I just, I think they're wonderful, and I don't feel that hatred. The stuff we see, see no, it's Wan Young ate a strawberry cutely. Oh, God. And everyone was, she's a pick me! Oh, my God. Like, that's not what that word means. Nope. She's doing her job. She is one of the most incredibly trained idols. Yeah. Ever. Yep. 82 Major with Choke. Uh, this one is fairly good. A little repetitive, but it's still all right. The visuals in the video are reading um, a little on the cultural appropriation side of things. Yeah. So I think they should probably talk to their stylist about that one. But uh, if they could just, you know, fix that, it'd be really, really good. Yeah. Um, I thought it was mildly threatening. <laughs> uh, and also you can't beat them at basketball uh, because they will just burn the whole thing down. That is what I learned about 82 Major. Yep. Uh, it's a good song. And uh, again, it's a little bit repetitive, but yep. it's okay. I'll allow it. I The vibes of the music video were very first generation, like the way they were styled, their hair. Yes. For the, the baggy suit yes. sections oh, yeah. of the music video. Yep. Violently first generation. Yep. Like it felt very so Taiji and the boys. Mm. Yeah. And then the whole vibe of the song is second generation mm -hmm. yeah. and you just company's got to get so much better at not being appropriative yeah. Mm -hmm. and yeah and oh it's not that hard it's, it's it, you've had enough time yeah. yeah you have enough time you know what you're doing you know what you are not supposed to do uh -huh. um but you're still doing it so also korea has the bestest fastest internet in the whole world yeah so there's no excuse the kingdom flip that coin i love this it actually stands out from the rest of the songs we've heard in the past few weeks. Uh, it's overall, overall, just a really well done production as uh, a whole. Yeah, okay, I liked it and it, it was good and it was mixed really well because we talked about this a few times in the last little yep. while. But there's been some weird mixing of things, but this yeah. was very smooth and it and everything made sense. Like there was a lot of different sounds and they all made sense together and it was really nice. I am very sad that they changed yeah. their concept. Yes. Yeah. I'm sad for their rebrand, but they're still putting out absolutely incredible music. Yep. And I love them. Yeah. They are so good. And the song is incredible. And it is going to be added to a long list of songs that I love that are about flipping coins. Yep. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's really, really good. I am also sad that they changed their concept because it was just unique. It was it really was. good. It was. Solar of Mama Moo. With colors, I want all the colors. Everything Mama do, Mama Moo. Everything Mama do, <laughs> Mama do do. Everything Mama do do. Everything Mama Moo does together and solo. I love it. The song is fucking fantastic. It's a vibe. It's fast. It's fun. It's literally, it is colorful to listen to. Can they, like, even you, without the second, colors in it? If you were saying it grammatically, like <clears throat> as as a, like they're a group, so they do right. Mm -hmm. So everything Mama Moo do do. Yeah, <laughs> Mama Moo Doo Doo. Uh, but can they please release a, a song called Mama Moo Doo? <laughs> yes. Do it. Yeah. I thought this song was like fabulously flamboyant and super gay, and I loved it. It was wonderful. The song is incredible. And out of every group that preaches themselves as accepting of LGBT fans yep. and being super inclusive, Mamo Moo is one of the few groups that I actually believe. Yeah. Their fandom has made whole pride parades. They are constantly raising money for whole LGBT initiatives in Korea. They have done amazing things. Mm -hmm. And Mamo Moo has been with them every step, every step of, of the, way. the way. Yep. Uh, Moonbeal still to this day 
Her songs are all gender neutral. Mm -hmm. She only talks about love in a gender neutral platform. Yep. And they're one of the only groups where it's not performative. It's like, no, we see you and we love you. Yeah. And this song is the perfect embodiment of that. Completely queer dancers. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yep. Yeah, the I only agree. K-pop idol to have a full Vogue in choreography. Yeah. That, the, Which, yeah, by the, the way, damn. Oh my uh-huh. god, the video was incredible. Like, you have yep. to watch it forty-five times to see all to the details. Everything yes. that's happening. Yeah. And I do want a black and a white one, You're and a right. pink or purple or purple. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then we have Xenary Heroes. Little things. I love it. It's fun and fancy and free. Probably. Just a good time. Uh, of course, it's extraordinary here. Extinary, extinary heroes, yeah. Um, and they're they're extinary at everything <laughs> that they do do. <laughs> oh, but um, the song is really good, and it's it's kind of sad, but it's it's a really good. Yeah, there's song. definitely a little bit of sadness yeah. to it. Yeah, I but again, this can be fun. Here we we have it again. Mm-hmm. They're an incredible band. They make nothing but incredible music. Yep. And it really feels like all of their, especially global promotion, is left up to them on TikTok. Yep. JYP has absolutely no idea how to promote a group. Properly promote a group, yeah. Unless it's something like Stray Kids or Twice, where they really, they picked themselves up. Yep. And everyone was just like, these are incredible. And the promotion just flowed naturally because they were a huge group. Yeah. With stuff like this and Day 6, they're just kind of like a drown like a suffocating fish flopping yeah. around yep uh then we have unite with geekin denim on denim i love it the song's good vocals are where they need to be there are no complaints about this at all it was a very good song it was not too serious it was just fun and their vocals are very very good it was super very good yep <laughs> It was a fun song. The music video was great, and it was interesting to watch. And this is another one that falls into the opposite category of Maestro, where it's a little bit more simple. It's not yeah, as yeah. like you, you know we we spent all the money on yeah, all special of the money. effects and yeah. sets. It's like no, it's a simpler music video, and it's mm-hmm. perfect. Yeah. Yep. It's not it's not so such a spectacle. It's just yeah, yeah. yeah. Then we have Elast with gasoline. They've got the vocals, the dancing, the style. This group has so much potential. I really like this song. It's heavy hitting, and it's just overall really, really good. And the rap wasn't choppy. It all fit together very nice. Yeah, it was very pretty. Uh, very good song, but uh, back in like 2014, I think, 2013, there was a group called BTL, and they were really good, and they did not last very long. But this kind of reminded me of them a lot, and I, I really liked it. Like The concept was cool. And they sound really good together. So, yeah. Yeah, the music video, like the full cinematic music video, incredible to watch. And then yeah. their live performances are so good. They're, yeah. They are very good live. They are really good live. Their music bank performance, I do recommend watching that. Mm-hmm. And this song is very good. And I miss when groups would have a song that was perfect to the concept yeah. of the comeback of the comeback yeah where it's like you get the the teaser photos and you're like ooh, ooh what's this comeback going to be and then you mm-hmm. get the song and you're like that's not what this is yeah sneakers <laughs> they yeah the whole checkmate princess mm-hmm. dresses crowns and then <laughs> put my sneakers on yeah I that's not what that, that is and like the, there's the classism against small companies and their groups. Yes. When a lot of the time, small companies are offering the best music. The best music and something unique. Yes, something incredibly unique which, instead of the same Y2K song which is what over she, and over. Brought up, Anita brought up last night while we were talking about this, the fact that um, you're shit on and called a plagiarizer if you do something that's similar to somebody else. But the moment you do something... That's completely unique and unlike anybody else. You're shit on because you suck. That's yeah, not what so. the trend is right now. Yeah, you're like what, gross. What are you trying to do? It's okay. It's like small companies are the art house films. Okay, where they're trying to they're trying to be artists. Yes, and 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 do something you know wonderful and different and unique, and everybody wants to go to Cineplex. <laughs> You know? Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, you know, like the independent movie makers that are making incredible works mm-hmm. of art. And then everyone's like, 
there's a new Marvel movie out. Y'all want to go see it? Yep. I want to see a new Captain America for the 48 time. America. Next up, we have Fantasy Boys with Pitter Patter Love. Um, I'm tired. I'm going to say it. I am tired of the school uniform in class music video set. Give me something else. I understand why it exists. Okay. I understand cultural aspect of it and everything like that. I get it. But there are so many other places that you could film a music video and get the same thing to come across that isn't school uniforms and a classroom. That's like all I'm saying. The it's, car wash. It is super good other than that. Uh, other than that, it's it's a really good song. And the music video, it doesn't suck. It's just, it's been done before. Yeah. Uh, it's all been done. Woo, 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 woo. Um, it's a very good song. And I liked it. It's a popsy cutesy song. And I liked it. It's, yeah. Yeah. That's it, me. I like it. <laughs> that's me. I like it. It's a very classic K-pop song. of like, school love. Yeah. Ooh, you're my crush. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's very cute. And it's good. It is. It's very good. And you have censored me. I said to kick K Soul off the roof. <laughs> I did, but I felt down the stairs was more your thing. Like that's more on brand for you. Yeah, but the roof they, they were up there, they were on the roof doing their dance. One of them could have been like, oh, I tripped him. Ooh, he's over the and What if you kicked him off the roof down the stairs? Ah. That you know, know there we go. Two for Yep. The There's mm, yeah, that, you could do that. We don't condone violence. I do. <laughs> what did he do? Because he's the one that outed the whole uh, Huarong from Tempest as having a, a girlfriend. And Kaisal had this whole rant about how oh, yeah. it is not fair. I don't know if she gets to name you and she gets to name you. I like what is blah. Also, I like that impersonation. Lying about his age. Yeah, and having a lied like times. three or Apparently, four times yeah. about his age. One minute he's born in, I believe it was 96, 97, 99, and 2000. Okay, on so different he's, survival shows he's either real close to 30 yeah or real in his 20s yeah or he just keeps coming from different timelines maybe well uh kick him down the stairs in each of them <laughs> yeah that's true he like because the, the, the biggest thing you don't do unless an uh your fellow idol is actively doing harm mm -hmm. and being a bad person leave him alone yeah, yeah. Don't out him for having a girlfriend because you're jealous. Yeah. Because no one yeah. likes you. That's that's something that really needs to change is the dating culture. Yeah. Um, again, if they're doing something terrible, out them. Okay? Uh -huh. But if it's just they have a relationship or like they're happy, you know, fucking leave them alone. Like, if you see something and that something is bad, say, say something. something. But if you see two people, two consenting adults, having consenting adult time at a club... Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Snitches. Get they stitches. Do. And if you ask my nephew, it's because if you snitch, karma will get you, you'll fall down, and you will need stitches. Yes. And I mean, like, he's not that far off. No. no. He's really not. He needs to get... Because now, now Horang is on an indefinite... Hiatus. hiatus yeah missing out on some really fucking cool shit because the company can no longer trust their artist and their their valued trust has been broken my love my trust was broken but could get rent yeah fall downstairs yeah oh never mind i'm not gonna rant next up <laughs> we have east shine with heartthrob it's a fun song it sounds good vocals are actually really good mm -hmm. i don't know why when i first heard it the very, very beginning of it, I didn't expect it to be vocally very strong. And then all of a sudden, it was. Yeah. It was really good. Um, the song gets stuck in your head really easily, and uh, I would put this in easy listening K-pop. There yeah. isn't a lot going on, and it is, it is perfect. Yeah. I love this song. It tickles my brain in all the right places, and mm -hmm. the, the, song, the sounds together and the cadence of it are, they just, they feel nice in my head. They do. It's, yeah. That's what I mean by easy listening. Yeah. You can put it on, and especially we're having like a really overwhelmed moment where you're like overstimulated and everything. This song would be really good to yeah. just no. mellow. Yep. Yeah. It's it's a very good song, and we've been talking about East Shine since their pre debut, mm -hmm. and I love them. Yeah, they're so talented and they're so good, and the song is very 
basic yep. bare bones k-pop song yeah and it's perfect yeah it's not trying to be like it, this it, big thing like maestro or anything like yeah. that it is a good basic pop song and it's perfect yeah this we talked about this with another group too it might have been them i can't remember um it was a, it was a few many episodes ago but we talked about how there's like some groups come out and they're just like 80s big yeah. you know they're showing up showing out doing the damn thing and then there's certain groups that come out with nothing and it's better yeah, yeah. this is one of those times where like we've watched a hundred videos of big yeah and they're great but then this was just like everything is so simple so about good. it it's like at the horse races right the gates open all the thoroughbreds run there's this one beautiful horse that comes out it's like you know what I'm not running today. I'm just going to prance. <laughs> it's like, wow, look at that beautiful there, horse. No, yeah. no, there's one horse that full sea biscuits it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or, or secretariat. Yeah. yeah. It, and it's just like, I'm just going to hold back. And then everyone else is tired and they're like, oh no, I won. Yep. <laughs> I'm the prettiest horse. The best horse. <laughs> Let's not talk about horses. I'll cry. <laughs> Next up, we have butt money from card uh, excuse you i said bum money bum money sorry the bm of card featuring jay park <laughs> Ugh. with nectar uh his voice it's like i don't even know it's like hot chocolate but the smoothest most perfect temperature hot chocolate imaginable it's perfect his flow is great the vibe of the song the song is simply too good and i know that this is where we start fighting yep. okay we have beef because i love i love bm I love BM too, and I love I love his solo stuff though. You guys, yes. you guys aren't a fan of his solo work. I don't like this song. It's boring. There is nothing to it. It has no substance. The end. Great, thank you. I number one hate Jay Park violently. She does. He has done one good thing. Wait, you beat him walking down the stairs. Yeah. Walking down the stairs, and then push. <laughs> He has done one good thing, and that is not be a Zionist. Yeah. But in a long list of being homophobic and racist, racist. and culturally appropriative. Yep. And, and, misogynist. and a misogynist. One good thing out of all of the things. Yep. <laughs> and everyone just likes to act it like... It doesn't he's... erase. No. Oh, and everyone likes to act like... Oh, he's never actually done anything that bad. He's just like goofy and cringy. No. No. He's straight trash. Yeah. And like And I mean that in multiple ways. We've talked about this lots. I love a redemption arc. Okay. And yeah. I believe that a redemption arc is sometimes warranted and you can accept a redemption arc. But just because you have one good opinion out of years of trash Bad takes, ones. it does not erase all of those trash no. takes. That's not a redemption arc. No. Now, if he came out and, you know, genuinely apologized to those communities for the shit that he has said and done. And also accepted and that worked. they don't have to take that apology. Exactly. Yeah. Um, then, you know, maybe we could talk. But that's that's maybe not at the same caliber, but the last week here, uh, the Shia LaBeouf thing. Okay. Yeah. Where all of a sudden, oh, he's back now and he he's having his redemption arc. No, he's no, not. No, he's fucking not. Okay? No. And the thing that- You don't get a redemption off, arc from beating people. No. And the thing- To brain damage. Yeah. But here's the thing, is if he had beat a man into brain damage, he'd be in prison. Yep. So what the fuck? Like, anyway, that's my rant. Mm -hmm. No yeah. redemption. Unless, and this is the thing, even if he apologized and went to therapy and, you know, got better, no one is obligated to forgive you. Nope. No, ever. That's the thing is what has to happen in order for Jay Park to have a redemption is it there has to be a visible change. Yes, yeah. It's not just, oh, I'm sorry. It's I'm sorry. And my actions are different. Yeah. Here's what I'm doing. Yeah. Like that is what has to change. 80s. One time with the hair. Never the, again. Never again. And actively doing going above and beyond mm -hmm. afterwards to make sure it never happens again. Mm -hmm. Like I talked about a, a little while ago when we were just listening to music, I realized ATs doesn't use AAV. Nope. No, n nothing like that. No, there's not. And it's so nice and it's refreshing. Nice. Yeah. Well, BTS did the same thing. 
Yeah. They they had a couple oopsies early in their career. Never again. Yeah. And like, I listen, the song is, it is good for what it is. It's a sexy, sexy song. It is a sexy, sexy song. BM does that a lot. Mm -hmm. I like Cards music. I like the, the intensity and the weirdness and the the differentness of Cards music. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm not a, I don't, I don't, I'm not a fan of his solo music. What? Yeah, it's, for me, it's, it's the whole thing of, okay, you're doing this thing where it's just like, I'm the sexy guy, you know, dancey music. There are so many people doing that and people who have done it much better, i.e. Rain. We all know about Rain. Yeah. So we all remember the pole dance. <laughs> 2009. <laughs> we, do. we do remember the pole dance. Yeah. 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 Even Tae Young does it better. Hey, yeah. you know what? Don't care. Your opinions <laughs> mean nothing. To me. I still, I love BM. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like, a human being, yes. But also, and, too, the thing here, and here we get into the, um, are you did you have to collab with this guy or are you friends so yeah well i mean to be fair they're from you, the same company aren't they uh no oh okay. no no they're from different companies but yu gyum and j jb both willingly went to aomg which mm-hmm. is j park's company when they left jyp yeah and they are very good friends with j park so we got beefs. we'll find out Next up, we have Ascent with Love Me Do, a love, debut. Love Me Do. I think that's enough Beatles to uh, get us all in prison. Yep, um, probably. Speaking of Beatles, let's don't speak about Beatles. <laughs> okay, uh, this is so good. <laughs> Baby, Love Me Do. It's so cute. It's catchy. The bass line throughout is a super nice touch. The vocals are fucking top notch. And I think they all sound really good together without blending into one boring sound yep the music video super good too go watch it enjoy it and just feel the vibes yeah it's it's pretty and i like it and for a first song it's it's seems very well seasoned like it seems like it came from an older group that's had enough time to you know yeah together it just it sounds really that it does it it sounds like it came from a group that has been doing this yeah yeah Yeah. i wonder how long they trained for because they are very like succinct Mm -hmm. and like it is such a good, solid debut. I was so impressed with it. It's a pretty song. The music video is really nice. Yep. Again, a simpler video. Yeah. That is extremely effective. Yes. And just everything about it is well done, and they sound incredible. Yep. Just, It's just succinct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Much like Triple S with Girls Never Die. Please watch this video and give it your full attention because it's a fucking masterpiece. The attention to detail is literally insane. The yeah. creativity, it's next level, and it is just so beautiful. The song is great, too. Uh, vocals are lovely. It's funky. It's chill. It's really soft, but at the same time, it has a super yeah. heavy impact. And overall, it's just it's a 10 out of 10. Yeah, Easy 10 out of 10. Very much so. Their voices are, like, ethereal, and their pitch is perfect, and the the entire thing like together was amazing and very interesting like yep. really interesting i am very impressed mm-hmm. hmm. <laughs> it is one of the most beautiful girl group videos i have ever seen and the song is perfect yep i i will say i've, I've went through and listened to like all of triple s's mini albums and i went through their whole discography before like a few months ago mm-hmm. so good yep. one of the most solid groups just front to back all of their songs are perfect yeah there are a lot of them yeah that thing that's the thing like a lot of times when there's a big group like that you're like oh my god this is overwhelming yeah it's not they're just no they they're like it's like water yeah or it's like you and birds have a murmuring it's like luna yeah Yeah. there's a lot of luna yeah Yeah. and those girls all they were so good yeah Yeah. and it's just the music video is in a work of art it is, is it is a piece of art and it is so rare to see nowadays yeah. a music video that is purely just to be art yep there is there is a transition in the video that is the best transition and, but it's so I have simple seen. it is the simplest thing it's, all it is is a color change yeah in clothing that's it and it just the way it happens the like drop, a drop of water it, Oh, it was beautiful. It is, it is so so good, perfect. And as Anita again pointed out, is it had a very uh, Daichi 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 Mure Daichi Mure touch to it. Yeah, yeah. Even the choreo. Yeah, yeah. it very yeah. just like beautiful artistic 
contemporary. Yep. Like that is what made it so different is that it was contemporary. Yeah. And like, okay. it's even the song, like it follows the video and fits so perfectly. Cause in the beginning of the video, it's all, it's all modern. You know, there's like, there's computers and technology and everything like that. And then it, the, the change into contemporary dark art. Yeah. yeah. Is just like fuck. And the, the literal dark arts with yes, the turning yes, into birds yes, and the graveyard. The bats and oh. the, the, the the parts of the video though where it's just them in that small area yep. just dancing like in one it's just beautiful. It I is. Got, I got goosebumps. And imagine managed to make twenty four people seem like one. Look seem, like one. Look like there was less members than seventeen. Yeah. Yes. Like yeah. just occupy such a small space. And fit perfectly. Yes. Very impressed with that So good. (laughs) Uh, Then we have Kepler with Straight Line. The styling in this video is a 30 out of 10 for me. It's gorgeous. It's interesting. The song is interesting as well. It's very funky and Y2K. And there are many Paula Abdul and Britney elements throughout the entire fucking thing. The vocals are great. I hate the fact that they are a concept group because I need them to stick around. We need it to happen. It's uh, very good, and it's really literally like the first Kepler song that I have really, really liked, because like I've I've kind of found their their music a little bit dry, nah, annoying. Yeah, get off this coat. I Kepler, it has been very hit or miss. Like I hate it up and we fresh, mm-hmm. but I loved Grand Prix and mm-hmm. Galileo. Galileo was Galileo really good. Was, yeah, Galileo was okay. <laughs> But it still wasn't my favorite. Yeah. But this song is incredible. And it is very, like, up, has set apart all of their other comebacks. And honestly, their Japanese songs have always been much better than their Korean comebacks. I actually do agree with that. Yeah. And it, this was very 90s girl group, Destiny's yes. Child, TLC, with yep. the guitar sample. Mm-hmm. It's just very Say My Name. Yeah. yeah. Aesthetically, too. Yeah. And I loved it. <laughs> Then we have Artemis with air. It's very airy. Gives the same feeling as the Seraphim's easy and smart. Uh, it's just, it's a light, pretty springtime song. Kind of sounds like some steel drums in the mix, and I love that. Also, the jeans underneath the skirts is not a trend that I want to come <laughs> back. But it worked really well yeah. on this video. But but you wear you wear your bootcut jeans with your Converse, and then a glittery skirt, and then a dress over under that. And then a t-shirt over that. And then a little skinny scarf. Yeah. I did. Exactly. I did my time. In Azkaban? No. Basically. In Ashley Tisdale Fashion Prison? I mean, yeah. The Disney. The Disney tween. I just, well, yeah, you know you know what would make this character seem really cool? A t-shirt. And then a blouse. And then a vest. And a tie. And a pair of jeans. And a skirt. And a fedora. And three <clears throat> belts. Yes. Of various sizes and color. Yep. Um, and arm warmers. Oh yes, you can't forget the arm warmers. Oh, yeah. And actually, sometimes they did do leg or warmers the too. Yep. Gloves, the yeah. fingerless gloves yeah. with the arm warmers over yep. top. Yeah. Uh, this song is delightfully sweet, and it's it was like it was like cotton candy, light and colorful and sweet and fluffy, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was it was a very pretty chill summer song, and their album when it finally drops is going to be the most confusing oh it's gonna be so confusing because none of the songs have sounded remotely similar Mm -hmm. and i i don't know what it's gonna be like but every pre-debut song has been incredible Mm -hmm. yeah so it's gonna be a good album it's just gonna be very confusing it's yeah it's gonna be a Minnesota salad that's not really a salad. Yes, yeah, exactly. There's, There's gonna be a lot of Jello in there, but also garlic. Maybe pistachios. Who knows? Oh. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have RM with "Come Back to Me." This song is crushingly beautiful. Uh, "Come Back to Me" is soft, light, airy with that funky bass line that comes in. The song is everything you need. I think the concept is super interesting. His lyricism is next level, and his ability to put together a song that makes you truly feel what is being shared is a skill that not a lot of artists actually have. Um, and it makes me really excited to listen to his album later today. There's something about, like, the video and the words, right, where, you know, I mean, you try to figure out what the artist is saying or what it says to you, Yep. right? And so for me, first of all, the song itself is is a fucking lo-fi vibe. It's yes. so, so peaceful. But I, it looks like RM kind of embracing his divine feminine, mm-hmm. you know? And it's like... 
him saying it's okay to to be anything and also nothing like there's you can it's just watch it it's really good yep i will say i do really love the chorus Mm -hmm. where that funky funky bass line comes in and the music video is another masterpiece it is a work of art it is beautiful yeah i just i don't vibe with with the the slow sad songs about my feelings i have enough she hates it's because i have too many feelings in myself when I'm listening to music, I want to get away from those. <laughs> I don't want them. Get That's them fair. out of here. That's fair. I very rarely listen to music to make myself cry. And if I do, yeah. I don't go to K-pop for it. Yeah. K-pop is my happy place. That's where I go to be happy. Yeah. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. If I have to cry, anything will make me cry. You can yeah. put the fucking doodle box on and I'll cry. <laughs> come on just the zoom oh, theme god. song come yeah. on and zoom, zoom on and zoom <laughs> oh god out, out of the, the box. box then we have espa the supernova this group would go so hard with a metal yeah. twist oh, yeah. another video and song that requires your undivided attention it is one of the best things to come out of k-pop in a long time can i just yeah. pause at something espa no because that music video is kind of goofy with like mm-hmm. the, the breaking and the falling and the dude yeah. with electric cowboy. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, that would be amazing. It would be so good. We did have Espa with a metal group. Yeah. In yeah. one of our videos. I yeah. can't remember who we paired them with. Um, but Espa and Electric Cowboy would have been would, would it, oh, so it would good. be incredible. It would be. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. The fucking video was a, a, a ride. And but the song is that's Espa, man. They're just so good. Yeah. I another group that you will never make me hate. Mm-hmm. Espa is incredible. I have yep. never disliked an Espa title track. Yeah. Ever. I don't think I have either. Every Espa song is perfect. Yep. Espa is what every four girl group wishes they were. Every single one of those girls is so strong. Like there's mm-hmm. there's no weak link. They're all no, they're perfect. all so good. Yeah, uh, much like this next group, Zero Base One, mm-hmm. Feel the Pop. Mm-hmm. There's like a little harp throughout, and it is cool. And as we all know, I fucking hate the harp. <laughs> I love it in this song. The concept is great. The video it sucks you in, whether you want to pay attention or not. Glam Cowboy, it's our favorite yeah. overall. The song is wonderful, and four hundred points for Horsey. Yeah. <laughs> That's. This I want to be saying. stuck in traffic with this song on repeat, right? Because when you're stuck in a traffic jam, you can't do anything else. Yep. You are stuck there. Yeah. And you have this song on repeat and you just be vibing like, yeah, I don't got to do shit. And I'm just going to love this song. Yeah. Exactly. I like genuinely, this is one of my favorite boy group, boy group comebacks of the year. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's fun. It's incredible. The music video is magic mm-hmm. yep and i love the, the the whole trend of serving of serving cowboy yeah. yep it, it, like a, a cowboy that serves i love them they should have let ricky keep his red hair yep i agree yeah uh justice for the redheads <laughs> next up we have n hyphen with fatal trouble uh can we just take a moment to appreciate the vocals please because damn <laughs> they went off the song is sad, and again, it's just, it's purely beautiful. So go forth and cry, my friends. Yeah. Yes, this is a beautifully sad song. It is. It's just, it's it's just beautiful. It was so pretty, and it fit the vampire <laughs> vibes that they have had yeah. since they debuted. Yep. And it was a very, like, dark almost gothic feeling yeah, it was. song. Like, it felt a little bit spooky. Yeah. It did. Yeah. And it was beautiful. It had spooky undertones, for sure. Yeah. Next, we have Diamond. With girls, love boys, love girls. It's a fucking anthem. There's nothing else to say. Immaculate. It is a great dance track. And it's an entire bop. And if I was an old lady and could throw it back, I absolutely would. She would. This is the best song of all time. And (laughs) you may continue. This is the best song of all time. And it is my new theme song. Yeah, it is. I'm going to start a country and this shall be the anthem. 
And it is finally the the bi anthem that we have been waiting for in K-pop. Yeah. Okay, and also it seems like it's they they redid or something that song by It's the same uh BPM as uh Odd Eye Circles uh Girlfriend. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's very good. Then we have Itzy with algorithm. Colors, Gandalf. So many colors. I read Gandalf. You're a dumbass. <laughs> there is a couple vibe vibe changes uh, in this, and they work so well. So many things all at once, and each one is vital to the structure of the song. It is perfect. It is the exact opposite of the song we were talking about before, where it's just there's nothing and it's great. There's everything, everything. in this. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's great song, fun song. And I love the breakdown at the end. I'm all oh, about yeah. the breakdown. I love a good breakdown. Yeah. It, this music video has been, was one of the most incredible things because there were so many little things that you have oh, to yes. rewatch it yep. multiple times to catch every little tiny thing. Yeah. Because there's so much going on in it. And the song is incredible and I will never dislike Itzy. No, I will never. Another group. Yeah. Where the hate is manufactured and you will never take them from me. Yep. Yeah. Like every Itzy comeback has been incredible. It's been so good, and their Japanese comebacks even better. Yep. This is an incredible song, and it is just fun. There, there are. I'm noticing that, especially like with this year's comebacks and stuff. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna say it. The majority of the Japanese comebacks are better. Yeah, yeah. I. It's weird. I don't know what's happening, but I'm not mad at it. Yeah, because it used to be like, oh, yeah, the Japanese comeback is like a Japanese version of a Korean yeah. song. We're like, throwaway song. Yeah. And now it's like, no, all of the efforts on those all ones. All of the effort. And uh, yeah. twice, I mean, twice does really good Japanese Twice songs. does do really yeah. good Japanese yeah. songs, yeah. We have Ive with Ascendio. This video required a couple watch-throughs from us. Um, the concept is so fucking cool. I can't even. The Sailor Moon vibes, the magic, the evil versions of themselves, alternate universes, all of it. I am here for this. Song, 10 out of 10. Vibes, 10 out of 10. Video, 100 out of a 10. It is just so fucking good. The The video is beautiful, and it's fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. And uh, the song, it just... The, the music with the images, you just... You can't look away. You're you just can't. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. It is a, it's a movie. Yeah. yeah. It is one of the best girl group music videos and of, all, of time. all time mysterious because you're trying to figure out like what the yes. fuck is happening fairly certain that the numbers added up to a Release comeback date. or yeah. a tour announcement yeah. yep yeah. because like the first one was what august 14th august 13th, 13th? Yeah. yeah seems like an, another comeback go all swifty on this yeah. but there was a lot of emphasis emphasis put on those numbers yeah so so it, it, it does seem like something is dropping on mm -hmm. August 13th at 12. At 12, yeah. And like everything about this is a work of art. While I was doing my makeup today, I had the song on repeat. It's the only thing I listened to. It just it's just over so and over. And it took me an hour to get ready. Yeah, it is. It's so good. Then we have XG with Woke Up. Um, they are an exceptionally talented group and they're very good at what they do. However... They are teetering on a very fine line between their own sound and full-on black scent. Um, it's a good track. The flow is nice. Lyrically, it's quite good. I don't think I will revisit this one. Um, if it comes on, I'm not going to get mad and change it, but I, it's not something that I'm going to go looking for. No. no uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of discussions and opinions to be had about XG that yes. people have. Yeah, and it's these things if they don't get discussed mm -hmm. then they go unchecked yeah and that's not okay but i mean it's a good song and the video is really good and i love all of their their concepts are so cool but yeah yeah that's, that's the thing is they are they are so good at what they yeah. do that they don't need to do that yeah no. it's not necessary and i know that you know not being native english speakers having an accent already has you know a hand to play in it yeah but there is a difference between your accent when you say those words and doing an accent. Yeah, there. I love. I liked the song there, uh, but this is a discussion that needs to be had about the the border on which XG rests upon. Mm -hmm. But I will say, this is not my favorite XG song. Yeah, it is, it's not mine either. It is one of my favorite XG videos, though. Yes, the, the music video, video is, is great, yeah. gorgeous. Yep, it is incredible the anubis vibes at the end yeah oh uh, yeah no it just 
one of the most incredible XG music videos. Mm-hmm. The video is incredible. Yep. And Kokona just straight up shaving her head. I know. Wild. <laughs> Good job. That was serious. <laughs> it was. Uh, then we have MCND with X10. Winter, it's my favorite. Video is super cool. It would be even better if I could actually watch it. But unfortunately, it's one of the ones that fucks my brain up in a really bad way. Super good track, though. To make your wrists numb? The No, different flashing sequence. Um, <laughs> you should really go to a doctor. I have. I've had so many scans. Concussions. They do weird things. Anywho, vocals are hitting just right. The beat is great. It's got that dope-ass guitar <laughs> popping up, and I love that. Yeah. And it also it reminded me of a GOT7 or B2B song in a good way. It pulled up some some retro elements from, you know, some before times K-pop. Mm-hmm. And uh, it worked really well. I liked it a lot. And the video is another good a good picture. Yep. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And it uh, had that, like, run for roses thing where yes. it's like there's, like, a little bit of a country element yep. in there. And it is just really good. Yeah. And I have watched this group since they debuted. Mm-hmm. They're just solid. They're so good. Yeah. I, I don't have any complaints about them. Want us. What's now? Everyone needs suspenders. <laughs> just saying. This is a shit disturbing up to no good kind of song. And I loved it. Mm-hmm. Do we have to kink shame you again? It's not a kink. A kink is completely different. I'm saying, as I've said before, suspenders, they just add to an outfit. That's it. I think they just make everything look much more classy and dapper, and I love them. Terry That's Jeffords. It. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is great, and it's like if if a Finkel song was done by New Kids on the Block or like New Edition. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a very very well done cover, and but it doesn't take anything away from the era that it came from. Like it, it didn't take take it and make it. Let's make this a new song. No, it's no, the song, and it's really good. Yeah, it is incredible. It's how cover should be done. Yeah. Holds true to the 90s and it's perfect and it's an incredible cover it's it's so good this is this is a vastly different end of the scale here okay it's completely different but it's like luke combs's cover of fast car by tracy chapman mm-hmm. that's how you do a cover yeah this is the same thing this is how you do a cover and we have bi with tasty i love bi i love this it's weird funky poppy and it's just good and his flow is great and he he does not Steppeth over that line, which I love. Yeah, yeah. This is a fantastic song, and it had a really good vibe. And B eyes, he's he's not a problematic dude. No, so you know, excuse me, he did a drug. <laughs> <laughs> How but dare you? Here's the thing: if he's a problematic, so is every person on this couch. I have never did a drug. <laughs> I would take medicine. Mm, okay, <laughs> that's what we're calling it medicinal marijuana uh i like bi's music and i have enjoyed him as an artist for well over a decade and very far before he was ever an icon and the song is incredible and the video is amazing Mm -hmm. again another simpler video that is incredibly effective yep exactly then we have 17 with spell this is so gorgeous. My God, it is lovely. That is all. Iconic. That's all I can say also. Yep. This is the exact opposite of the rest of what we were just talking <laughs> yeah, about. Yeah. It was so simple and perfect. It is magical fantasy fairy siren boys, and it's perfect. Yep. yep. Song is perfect. Video is perfect. And the boys are perfect. They are all it's perfect. perfect. Yeah. This is the one where they were like dancing between the layers of the water, right? Yeah, and, and there was like yeah. the statues and the, the it was uh the pretty so makeups. Were fascinated by mermaids or some bullshit. Yeah, because there was yeah. there was one like, and another one and there was a few of there was like a few water the water yeah. yeah, but that one mm, love it. Then we have seventeen. Cheers to youth, funky baseline bitches. It's really cool and overall a good song. It's smooth and it's not even remotely overpowering, which I love. Uh this was good. So of the three songs, one has to not be the best. Yeah. And this is it for me. But because it felt like it should be for something, like for like a, a, a yes. special or like for a montage. It's it felt like it was the back. Like a soundtrack. Yeah. Yeah. This would have been a perfect song for Extraordinary Attorney Wu. Yep. Yes. Yeah. 
It is just a beautiful and sweet song, and the music video is adorable and fun. Yeah. And it is the perfect drama song. It is. Especially for a drama like Attorney Woo. Attorney Woo. Where it is just sweet and heartwarming and beautiful. Yep. I agree. Then we have 17 again (laughs) with uh, La La Lee. That is a good movie. Um, no idea what's happening in the video, but I need more of it. The song is great. It's hard hitting. It's fun. It's loaded with excitement. A jolly time was had by all. That's my notes. Yep. I loved it. The hip hop unit in 17 always has my favorite songs every single time. The the, the hip hop unit doesn't have a a song that I have not liked. Yeah. It's just, they're very good at what they do. And very much good. Very just, much good. God, I love Seventeen. Yep. And lastly, but, oh, not leastly. but not leastly, we have Sujin with Mona Lisa. The styling in this video is top notch. It's gorgeous. The song is really good too. It's nothing that hasn't been done before. It is very much in line with the overall vibes that have been set for this year's spring summer aesthetic, but it's still very good. Perfection. Even if she had been a bully, <laughs> as someone who has seen the girl as she bullied. <laughs> It would have been deserved. Basically, Dippy would have been her biggest bully fan. Mm-hmm. Listen, what that girl did, uh, it's not okay. The fact that she's like, she bullied me, called me ugly. She was one of the girls. And then after she got kicked out, she was like, mm-hmm, seems like it was mistaken. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> she didn't bully me. <laughs> Just to oh me. God. That's the one that sings. That yes, yeah, the oh, one that she's yeah. an actress and she did that really good singing. Or, um, I don't know. Do you know what? I'd have bullied her too. Yeah, she would have been. It would have been deserved. I love Sujin. This song is incredible. More brats vibes. Yes. Yeah. Very, very brats. brats. And I loved it. Yep. Beautiful music video. There was a few times in the music video where I literally was like, "Oh my god," because mm-hmm. it was just gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the music video was very, very well done. Yeah, I'm not mad about it at all. But this is a good place to stop today. So let us know what your favorite comeback or debut or, you know, whatever was of this month. And uh, thanks for being here. Take care.